Hello students, welcome to Sorov Sir's classes. The question is, let x be a continuous random variable with the probability density function which is given as this. Then probability x greater than half and less than 2 equals. So, we just need to find the cumulative distribution function for each part that is since we have been given the nature of fx is different for 0 less than x less than equal to 1 and x greater than 1 so we'll integrate the pdfs over these two range to find the required probability this would be probability half less than x less than 1 plus probability 1 less than x less than 2 rather this should be half less than equal to 1 half less than x less than equal to 1 since we have been given less than equal to 1 over here but since this is again a continuous random variable it doesn't matter whether you put an is equal to sign or not because once you integrate you'll just put the limits but again it's a good habit to be as accurate as possible regarding your notations and thus there should be a equal to sign over here so now integrating this half over to 1 x cubed dx plus 3 by x to the power 5 integrating this over 1 to 2 dx so we get x to the power 4 by 4 the limits are half and 1 plus 3 x to the power minus 4 by minus 4 limits are 1 and 2 so on solving this okay. this is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 to the power 4 plus 3 by 4 this is 1 by this comes out to be 15 by 16 so the correct option is option A the next question is let x be a random variable with the moment generating function mxt is equal to 1 by 216 into 5 plus e to the power t whole cube so now this mxt can be written as 1 by 6 cube 5 plus e to the power t whole cube and we can further write this as 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 e to the power t whole cube now we know that for a binomial distribution, mxt is equal to q plus p e to the power t whole to the power n. So from here we get that x follows binomial 3 comma 1 by 6. Thus probability x greater than 1 can be calculated as 1 minus probability x is equal to 0 minus probability x is equal to 1 and this is equal to 1 minus 3c0 1 by 6 to the power 0 5 by 6 cube minus 3c1 into 1 by 6 into 5 by 6 whole squared so this is 1 minus 5 cube by 6 cube minus 3 into 5 squared by 6 cube and we get this to be 16 by 6 cube which is 16 by 216 and that is 2 by 27 so the correct option is option A the next question is let x be a discrete random variable with probability mass function px is equal to k into 1 plus mod x whole squared 
where x is equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Where k is a real constant, then probability x is equal to 0 equals. Now we have been given that x is a discrete random variable with PMF, which is given as k into 1 plus mod x whole square. Now we know that summation probability x is equal to 1 for the whole range of x. So we can write this as summation x is equal to minus 2 to 2 k into 1 plus mod x whole squared to be equal to 1 and this becomes k. Now 1 plus mod of minus 2 is 1 plus 2 so 3 k plus 3 squared and similarly for minus 1 we get 2 squared for 0 it is 1 squared again for 1 this thing becomes 1 plus 1 whole squared so 2 squared and similarly for 2 we get 1 plus 2 whole squared so 3 squared is equal to 1 so k into 27 is equal to 1 or k is equal to 1 by 27 now the probability that x is equal to 0 equals k which is 1 by 27 into 1 plus mod 0 whole squared this is equal to 1 by 27 so the correct answer is option c